The FOSTEC 22 conversion for the AR-15 allows for the use of 22 in a regular 556 or 223 style rifle. Since 22 is a lot cheaper than 223 and 556, people prefer to use it at the range. FOSTEC sells the 22 conversion with all the parts necessary to work with your FOSTEC Echo Trigger. If you have an Echo AR-2, you need to remove it from the firearm. This allows us to replace the springs with the correct ones. If you have the Echo Sport, don't worry about this next step. Clicking the anti-hammer follow disconnect will release the first latch. Now if you pull the trigger as you would to fire the rifle, the springs will come out. Make sure to grab the six small parts as well as the main assembly. Using the toggle retainer, push out the hammer pin. The hammer will easily slide out. Pull out the hammer spring as shown in the video. The new spring will slide in where the old spring comes out. Insert the hammer into the assembly. and insert the existing pin that we removed earlier. Notice on one of the toggles there's a little shelf. This fits into the toggle retainer facing outwards. Place the spring retainer into the trigger assembly. Now insert the toggle retainer. Install the springs on the toggles. Apply pressure to the hammer and install the springs and toggles as shown in the video. Make sure the shelf on the toggle is facing outwards. Firmly press the hammer until it locks back into place. To install the extra power recoil spring, first compress the spring and then slide it over the back plate of the assembly. Remove the recoil spring from the guide rod and insert the extra power recoil spring. Slide the spring first into the assembly Make sure the guide rod goes in past the back plate. On the back plate, there's a little hole. Make sure the guide rod sits inside. When you slide the assembly back, it should return to battery. Install the anti-bounce weight with the teeth facing the right side. This will want to come out, so hold it firmly. On the auto sear trip, make sure the notch is facing the back of the assembly. The auto sear trip will slide, make sure it's slid back as far as possible. You can remove the rubber protection cap. Insert the charge handle as you normally would. Insert the 22 assembly as you normally would with the BCG. Make sure the anti-bounce weight and the auto sear stay in place when you insert them. It is suggested to lubricate these as you normally would with a bolt carrier. Make sure to slide the auto sear trip all the way back. Drop the hammer by pushing in the trigger lock spring and pulling the trigger. Releasing the trigger will make the trigger lock spring back. Push the trigger lock and firmly pull the trigger. Continue to hold the trigger. Make sure the auto sear trip is all the way back. Now connect the upper and lower. Push in your takedown pin. Now you're ready to function check your firearm. Ensure there is no ammunition in the chamber before function checking the firearm. Move the safety selector to the safe position and the trigger won't be able to be pulled. Move the safety selector to the semi position and the trigger can be pulled. The trigger should pull all the way in the echo position as well. 
Move the safety selector to semi-auto. Pull the trigger, listen for the hammer drop. Now reset the charge handle, let go, and then pull it again. Make sure the hammer only drops when you pull the trigger. In echo mode, pull the charge handle. Pull the trigger, keep holding it down while you pull the charge handle. Now when you let go of the trigger, the hammer should drop. If anything's not working as it should, take it apart and reassemble. I would like to thank Fostech for making this video possible. A link in the description to their website will show the products that were used in this video. Thank you for all of those who watched, and please consider subscribing for similar content.